Hi, everybody. It is the 28th of February. We are just about done with February. Um, got a really warm day starting up out here in L.A., um, much warmer than it was yesterday. When I took the boys out for a walk <laughs> this morning. I kind of went, wow, dressed a little bit warm for this. Ba get back into a light T-shirt here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this as soon as I finish this. I just wanted to get on with some music today. Um, I've got some notes to read, so off go the glasses, because I just can't read anything up close. Okay. Um, um, today I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and visit another one of the Japanese artists that I worked with over the years. Um, uh, his name is Hiroshi Shinkawa, and we did an album called Shinkies back in 2001, and it was produced uh, by Hiroshi Shinkawa and, and Toshiya Kamada, uh, engineered by Kaz Matsumoto and Hiroshi also worked on the, on the engineering and mastered by um, Hiroshi Kawasaki. Uh, we cut it at Capitol Records here in Hollywood and uh, I was looking up some information about Hiroshi and it was interesting that I saw that he had played keyboards uh, with Yumi Matsutoya, uh, who I've done 20 some albums with over the years. And uh, I keep trying to post her stuff, and it gets blocked every time. I'm pretty much about to um, give up, or I'm going to write to her and just say, is there anything we can do? Because she makes fabulous albums. She's a wonderful artist, and I would really love to be able to present her here. Um, but, you know, the powers that be um, say no, so I don't know. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping this one won't have a problem once I, once I go to put it up. But uh, it said on his bio that he had, he had played keyboards with her. And uh, he was involved with a whole bunch of things in Japan that, uh, if you want, it's worth uh, taking a look and seeing, you know, uh, uh, in their music world, uh, how things uh, evolved in somebody's career. Um, it's a great band on this one, though. Uh, it's uh, myself on bass, Kurt Descara, Kirky B on drums, uh, Hiroshi Shinkawa on vocals and acoustic piano, um, Mike Landau, the great Mike Landau on guitar, uh, Tom Keane on keys, Tom Scott's playing the sax solo. Uh, the trumpets on this are Jerry Hay and Gary Grant, one of the greatest sections one could ever want, and Bill Reichenbach on trombone and Larry Williams on sax. Um, I mean, there's two songs I'm going to do. One of them is Under the Jamaican Moon, which was written by Stephen Bishop and Leah Kunkel. Uh, Leah was Russ Kunkel's uh, first wife and the mother of the great Nathaniel Kunkel. And we actually uh, did, uh, I believe we did Under, Under the Jamaican Moon on her solo album. Might have, Stephen may have, we may have cut it with Stephen too, I don't know. And then the other song is called Daylight, and it was written by Harold Payne and Bobby Womack. And I always think every time I see Bobby Womack's name, two things come to mind. Number one, when James Taylor cut Woman's Gotta Have It, it's one of the best bass lines uh, ever. Uh, I just love the bass line on that song. It was so much fun to do. And also, it was a Bobby Womack record that I met Waddy Wachtell the first time on. We were both hired to play on it, and that was where we met. So I'm going to go ahead and play a little music because i got a lot to do today, so I just want to give you a taste of this. So here's the Bobby Womack, Harold Payne song called Daylight. It's a good groove. Check this out.
uh, the horns on that were uh, arranged by Jerry Hay, the great Jerry Hay, and the rest of the arrangement was Hiroshi's arrangement on it. I, I, I accidentally, uh, I, for some reason, when I was giving the credits on there, um, Hiroshi is playing acoustic piano on this. There obviously was no vocal on it. There's some vocals on this album, but not on, on that track. Um, and then this next song was arranged, uh, this is the Under the Jamaican Moon, written by Stephen Bishop and Leah Kunkel, uh, and it was arranged by Hiroshi. So let me uh, jump into that rascal right here. Here we go. <laughs> Scott. 
So every time I hear Tom Scott play, I think back in college, because we, we were in the music department together in college. And then when I moved over to the art department, um, one of my fellow artists that I hung with every day was Richard Marin, who became, he told me one day, he says, oh, a friend of mine and I were going to try doing a comedy act. And they ended up being Cheech and Chong. <laughs> so, you know, you never, never question when somebody says, yeah, I'm going to try something. You never know what's going to happen. But uh, I think about those guys and boy, I'm suddenly back at Valley State College, Cal State Northridge out here in Los Angeles back in the late, late second half of the 60s. Um, so that's Hiroshi uh, Shinkawa and the uh, album is called Shinkies from 2001. And uh it's fun. I, I've worked with so many Japanese artists, and you know, I, I keep trying to find things and pull them up. The hard thing is finding things that are actually available on YouTube for me to to, to present, because um, not everything people cut gets put on on YouTube. I'm going to keep trying with Yumi because she's a, something amazing, and I'll do some more Mari Hamada, uh, who I just love working with, and uh, we're doing another new album with her, and. Uh, so it's all good. Um, so I, I think that's it for the day. Um, well, for this, this for the day. Uh, let's not forget uh, Wednesday is our clubhouse. I can't wait to see everybody there and hang out. And then this coming Saturday is our FaceTime and Skypes. And I really enjoy, it's a really wonderful day of visiting with people. Um, and uh, you know, there's so many things. So I, again, I'm going to thank all of the... Uh, People working in the healthcare system uh, that are they're working so hard on a on a daily basis because the numbers are still high. It's not like people have stopped dying and stopped getting sick. Um, it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, unbelievable. The numbers you know, one person it, in my heart is too much, but there's still a lot of people suffering. It's getting better, but uh, it still has a, a long way to go. And uh, I thank these people so much for all their diligence and their hard work uh, and their dedication to their craft of, of saving lives. Um, they're amazing people. And then the huge elephant in the room, man, my heart really goes out to the people suffering over in the Ukraine. Um, it's quite beyond, you know, I mean, I sit here and I'm making a video talking about our clubhouse and I took the boys for a walk and I'm going to deliver some books to the uh, post office and some t-shirts today that were ordered. And then I think about these people, you know, the, the, the mothers and really like a lot of mothers with um, their children and their pets and everything terrified, you know, down in subway tunnels and stuff, trying to be safe from this bombardment they're going through, you know, and then all of a sudden now there's, you know, when nuclear weapons comes into the conversation, there's an insanity there that is just beyond comprehension in this day and age. And you just go, you know, what the hell is going on here? My heart is so with those people, the suffering they're going through. And my grandparents uh, came from Ukraine. I mean, I have, a, I have an, a, an attachment to it. And, uh, and I've known so many people from that part of the world. And it just breaks my heart that they, one day... You're kind of, you know, going to the coffee shop, having somebody, and the next day your building's being, you know, bombarded, blown up. It's unreal, just unreal. So absolutely my heart's with them, and I hope this can get resolved before it just gets worse and worse, you know. And then suddenly egos are so massive that they won't admit they screwed up, and they, so rather than back off, they just are going to plow forward. So, man, my heart's with you guys. It's just unreal. So uh, take good care. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, it's inevitable. <laughs> That's what I do. And um, I will talk to you all then. So just take good care and ha have a great day and just give thought to, you know, what's going on in this world. It's, uh, it's a tough one. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.